In today's video, we'll be focusing on the 2021 through 2023 Ford F-150. We'll be going over the fuse box location, the fuel pump fuse location, showing you multiple ways for testing this fuse, and discussing the fuel pump relay design and implementation for this year range of vehicle. In order to locate the under hood fuse box, open the hood. The fuse box is located on the passenger side rear of the engine bay. The actual location of the fuse box is shown in the picture. The fuel pump fuse is a 30 amp fuse. It is number four on the fuse box diagram. The actual physical location of the fuse is shown in the picture. If you have a 2023 Raptor R, there's a second fuel pump fuse listed. It's also a 30 amp fuse. It is number 72 on the fuse box diagram. The actual physical location of the fuse is shown in the picture. Now let's discuss how we go about testing this particular type of fuse. The fuel pump fuse is a slotted M case fuse. We found that there is very little space to access the metal contacts on this style of fuse. If you have difficulty getting the probes of your multimeter on the contacts, you can test the fuse by swapping it for another good fuse of the same rating. We'll show you which fuse we recommend swapping later in the video. If you end up having to replace this fuse, please keep in mind that at the time we're making this video, slotted M case fuses are hard to find in local auto parts stores. We'll provide you a link to some down in the description below for you to check out. This is how you perform a resistance test on the fuel pump fuse using a digital multimeter. First, set your multimeter to resistance mode. Second, after making sure your test probes are in the correct ports and verifying your tool is configured correctly, touch one of your leads to one side of the fuse and touch your other lead to the other side of the fuse. If your display shows OL or doesn't change, this means the fuse is bad. If your display shows zero or virtually zero resistance, this means your fuse is good. Now, if you don't have access to a multimeter or you're having issues accessing the metal contacts of the slotted M case fuse, you can simply swap the fuel pump fuse with another known good fuse of the same style and rating. On this year range of F-150, fuse number 69, the left hand windshield wiper fuse, is a good one to swap. It's also a slotted M case 30 amp fuse like the fuel pump fuse. You can swap the fuses and see if that solves your issue. If so, you'll need to replace the fuse. If this information has helped you out, do us a huge favor and smash that like button right now and consider subscribing. We'd really appreciate it. A fuel pump relay isn't listed in the owner's manual. During this time period, Ford began making some design changes by using more non-serviceable relays in the fuse box for some vehicles. Unfortunately, these types of design decisions can make it more difficult for owners and DIYers to work on our own vehicles. If you want more information for your specific vehicle, we suggest getting access to a quality set of shop manuals and wiring diagrams for your specific year, make, and model of vehicle. As a DIYer, when it comes to getting access to information that will assist you with servicing and maintaining your own vehicle, we recommend Mitchell One DIY. With Mitchell One DIY, you get not only access to quality in-depth wiring diagrams for your vehicle, but you also get component locations, component tests, technical bulletins, and much more. If you'd like to learn more about the service, please see the link down in the description below for more details. Once you get on the Mitchell One website, be sure to check out the free demo of everything that's included in your product subscription. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hit that subscribe button and click that bell so anytime we drop a new video, you'll be the first to know. Hit that like button and leave me some comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're interested in any of the products we used in today's video, we'll leave some links down below. Hope you have an awesome day and thanks for watching.